83 Chevy K10. Gonna be doing some EFI. Taking the fuel cell out. Get rid of all that shitty line. Oh, there's the fuel cell out. Lines are unhooked. Come over here. Got it out. Brackets are already in there for a new one to go in. We got the vent or the uh, fill neck in the tank. We'll be ready for some EFI shit here. I'll give you a run through of the truck. Half ton axles on, uh, I think these are 38s. Yeah, what does it say there? 38.5, 16 and a half. Oh, 400 small block, 700 R4, 456 gears. Got the new fuel cell. It's an Aeromotive. Uh, two vent tubes, rollovers, uh, return port, fuel cell, uh, fuel pump in the tank, uh, sending unit, 20 gallon. All right, well, my issue I'm running into now with uh, this tank, being as it's a little bit smaller and whatever of that one is that these uh fancy brackets here that i had already made for the old one don't quite fit so my option is because i already have these nice brackets bent up and they will work depth wise i'm going to cut them and section them and make them work as far as this tank i'm not sure what i'm going to do as far as the top because it has this little piece that Goes on, whoop, goes on there to hold it the way it's supposed to be held. But with the fuel pump and the uh, sending unit in there, might not go the way I planned. I don't know. Let's start hacking here and see what we can come up with. All right. Well, I got my bracket laid out here, and I need to make it about 20 and a quarter inches to fit that tank to go up and down it. So we're going to cut out this piece of scrap metal I had laying around that's a uh, quarter inch thick or so. Uh, it's about the same as that material. Uh, we're going to cut it at about two and a quarter inches wide to make that 20 and a quarter. Alright, well, I got this 
bracket here made, welded and mounted up. And I run it like that. I got foam tape under there. I got to use longer bolts that I had to get and cut these up here ways so I can bolt this together. It's like double nutted and bolted. Uh, because with the tank now having the fuel lines coming out here uh, It'll it'll be too much room or not enough room before so I have to Kind of make like a little bit of a space there. I'm probably gonna put a piece of pipe or something in there just to make it a little stronger um, Those are stainless bolts, so they should be Well enough to hold this and all uh, I'll show you when I get it up in there All right, well, I'll tell you that was no fun task getting that in there. Made some little ghetto spacer brackets for my bolts. Got them welded in there. Got plenty of room on top of my tank for the sump. And my access port. I got some foam pad up under here for the brackets where I welded them. Now you start running lines.